Northumberland County, in partnership with Tech Out Technology Services, brings you a smart Northumberland initiative. Staying safe on the internet. Navigate safely. Understand your risks, where hackers and malware producers attack, and how to navigate these threats. Understand security. Take the preventative measures to ensure that you are as secure as you can be when navigating the internet. Browse with confidence. Be a confident and competent navigator of the internet by understanding modern day threats and how to protect yourself against them. Safe. Safety first. Stick to what you're comfortable with. Antivirus. Have reliable protection you can trust and understand. Fake threats. Understand what is fake and what is real. Evolve. Adapt to changing times. Safety first. Stick to what you're comfortable with. Stick to what you know and venture out carefully from there. There are many great sites with great information. Great sites include Google, YouTube, Wikipedia, news outlets, IMDb, and known publications like All Recipes, WebMD, and McLean's. Use these sites to help discover other related sites to further explore the topic you're interested in. Antivirus. Understand your antivirus. Know how it works, what it protects against, and what it does not. Important questions to ask yourself may be, do I shop a lot online? Do I do a lot of business on my computer? Might I be prone to an attack because I share the computer with a lot of people or for other reasons that may make you a target? If so, then you may need more protection. Antivirus, understand your needs. If you find that you do a lot of the things listed previously, you may need enhanced protection. How to pick an antivirus? Programs like Kapersky Total Security or Norton 360 might be the right programs for you, with enhanced features like link scanners, spam protection, password vaults, VPN services, and ransomware protection. Antivirus. Are you protected? Understand what the program icon looks like. Understand if it's running and know if it's working properly. Is your antivirus working? Know that it is. Check your system tray or notification area. Are there any warnings? Is your browser protection working? Fake threats. Understand what is fake and real. What's a fake site? What's a fake email? What's a fake phone call? Is the site you're visiting bad? There are levels of bad sites. Sites programmed poorly. Sites that have too many pop-ups. Sites that lead to other sites that may be malicious. And sites that are malicious or have content specifically made to trick or mislead you into falling into a scam. Understand the difference and what to do about each one. Fake threats. Understand what's fake and what's real. What's a fake email? How to detect fake email? Check for spelling. Is it from who it says it's from? Hover over the links to see where they go. Fake threats. Understand what is fake and what is real. Is the phone call real? The phone call is never real. Microsoft will never call you. Tech support will not call you. The CRA will most likely not call you. And the bank will most likely not call you. If for whatever reason you think you are receiving a legitimate phone call, do these three things. Tell the person who called you're worried that you're being scammed and you will call them back. Remember what happened and ask a friend. If it was the bank or the CRA, look up the number on the back of your bank card or go to Canada.ca and call the number on the site. Evolve. Adapt to changing times. Understand the threats that face us today. We live in a fast-paced, ever-evolving society that is not slowing down anytime soon. Understanding where technology is, where it's been, and where it's going is your first line of defense. Because knowledge is power, and scammers and trolls only pick on the weak. You don't need to know the complete history of zero-day attacks or how GUI changed our lives forever. But having knowledge of what they are and why they are possible may be something interesting enough to talk about with your friend, mother, daughter, or spouse, and it will go a long way to help ensure that you won't be taken advantage of by the internet trolls and scavengers. Part 2. Secure. S. Safely access the internet. E. Eliminate any risks. C. Create a strategy for threats. U. Understand the difference between real and fake. R. Remember to ask. E. Exercise often.
Safely access the internet knowing when it's safe to access the internet. Is your antivirus up to date and working? Is your browser being redirected or are you getting pop-ups? Are you getting an unusual amount of spam emails? Your computer is a complex and complicated machine. There are many programs that need to regularly be checked to ensure a smooth and safely operating experience. Here's what to look for to make sure your computer is secure so you can safely use it on the internet. Check your antivirus to make sure that it is running, up to date, and all the components are working properly. Check your browser to make sure that your homepage is correct, your searches are not being hijacked by an unauthorized search engine, and that you don't have potentially unwanted add-ons giving you an undesired browsing experience. Know how to detect spam or junk and understand what to do. Is that email something I should delete or something I should add to junk? Are my spam settings high enough? How do I fix stuff that is in junk that shouldn't be? Understanding how the functions of your antivirus and spam protection work are as important as running a clean browser. Know these functions and you will be that much closer to a confident and competent navigator of all things internet. Eliminate security risks. Understand when you are compromised and how to fix it. Change your home page. Uninstall potentially unwanted programs. Run cleanup programs. Delete saved passwords. Reset your browser. Create a strategy for threats. Stop. Stop and think. Should I click on that email, or did I and what may happen because I did? Did I go to a bad site? Did I put in information that I shouldn't have? Is the program I installed something that added extra things to my computer? Try to reboot. Is the site that I'm on just fake and all I need to do is reboot? Did that link I clicked have the ability to steal my information? Is my computer just locked? Ongoing assessment. Make sure the issues don't continue. After I rebooted, have things changed? Has my homepage changed? Are my searches resulting in odd answers? Is my email not working? Is my system crashing? Protect, run a security scan, call the bank, change a password. You've done the unthinkable. You made a mistake, you clicked the link, you filed the information, you answered the call, you downloaded the program. What do you do next? You clicked the link or downloaded the program. Run a virus scan. First, use protection that you already have on your system against any threats. Still not sure? Okay. Download complementary scanners like ESET Online Scanner, Malwarebytes, or AdW Cleaner for less serious incidents. You filed in the information or taken the call? What did you fill in? Did it have a password? Change your passwords. Did it have your bank or credit card info? Call your bank. Unsure? Phone a friend or call a professional to help make sure you've taken all the appropriate steps. Everything that is done is done. Everything you should do next is subjective. You need to ask yourself some questions. Understand the difference between real and fake. Know if a website is good or bad. It is not always easy to check how good or bad a website is, but there are a few tricks that will help you realize if you should be there or not. Are there a lot of pop-ups? Does the information look far-fetched or even fake? Does the information seem to be leading to nowhere? Is it an unsecured financial site? Everyone has had the feeling that you're in a place that you should not be, and the internet is no different. If you aren't comfortable, don't know the area, or just have a bad feeling, turn back. Know how to check an email for details on where it came from. Spam emails are a dime a dozen, require very little to create and distribute, and should be known as one of the most prevalent threats you will face. So, how do you catch them? Besides having good protection and looking for things that are poorly produced or written, here are a couple of things you can look for. Hover over the email address to see if the name matches the email address. Any major organization is unlikely to send you an email that looks like this, especially when the domain name doesn't match the organization itself. You can do the same with links in the email. 
although you should never trust an email from a bank site telling you to reset your password. If you hover over a link telling you to do so, you may find that it's sending you to an obviously bad site. Know if you put in information you should not have and what the risk is. If you entered financial data or passwords into a site that you think you shouldn't have, it's time to act. There are a lot of schemes out there, and they should be taken seriously. If you are unsure whether you should be putting in information on a certain site, here's what you should do. If you did put in financial data like account numbers, social service numbers, or anything of the like, act right away. Call a friend or a family member. Call the financial institution and potentially call a professional. Do not wait on this. It is a time-sensitive matter. If you put in a password for something like your email, it's time to change your email password immediately. Your email is like the door to your house. It should be one of the things you hold most closely. If you have other online accounts, they are most likely tied to your main email account. With access to your email, there is a lot of damage that can be done. Remember to ask. If you're concerned, ask someone. Have a friend, a tech company, or a relative that you can rely on for answers. Ask yourself. When you go to a website, sign up for a survey, sign up for a trial membership to something, ask yourself, what is the worst that could happen? Is the site legitimate? Could your password be compromised? Could hackers use that password to access other online accounts? Do I really need to try this? If you find that you do need to, or you simply just want to, come up with a unique password for just this sort of thing. Make it something you use for trying programs or trial memberships to ASMR websites or whatever. In fact, sign up for a secondary email just for those types of things. The internet is a fantastic place where you can be whoever you want if you so choose to take advantage of that. You don't need to give credible information to everything. The internet is essentially a big data mine, and you really shouldn't give all your personal information to every site. Exercise often. Have a routine of things you do to make sure that you're okay. Check to see if your antivirus is running. Run a virus scan monthly. Run a secondary cleanup program monthly. Northumberland County and Teched Out Technology Services wants to thank you for participating in this presentation. We understand that the digital realm can be scary and potentially dangerous, but we know that with the right amount of care and attention, it can be a wonderful thing.